Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm just going to be showing you how to get the Foxbat Rise of the Skies uh, wheels on the Pit Viper. I'm going to be using my Fusion Explorer tool uh, to demonstrate also its purpose uh, instead of using something like Quick, B uh, Quick BMS and how it can speed up the process if you have already done this before. Um, before we change the wheels, just make sure for one, back up your data.pack file. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you soon. Just back that up. And also make sure that you select the standard issue rims before changing the rims that we're going to change, which are the grind rims. Just make sure the grind rims aren't selected or else the game won't load when you do go to load the game. So first of all, download my tool. Um, to any location, whatever. It should come like this, some version of this. Might be this one, don't know. We're going to uh, right click and extract it here. Now we're going to go into the folder and load the tool. Now we're going to open the data.pack file. Uh, the location is, uh, depending on which drive you installed Trials Fusion on. For me, it's the D drive. We're going to X, uh, Program Files x86, Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Common, Trials Fusion, Build, Data underscore PC, and then Data.pack. Again, make sure you back this up. As you see, I have a copy. Just in case if the game fails to load or something like this, you can go back to the original and it'll fix everything. So now we're going to open the Data.pack go into the pack zero folder, right click items.xml and export. Now create the exports folder at the directory of the tool. We're going to go into the directory, right click and open, or I'm going to edit it with uh, Notepad++. I suggest using Notepad++ because it makes it a lot easier to navigate through this uh, quite a large file, text file or XML file. So to make it easier, I'm going to click Alt 3, which is the level that we want to collapse. If you want to see uh, the levels, if you go into view uh, collapse level, we're clicking this, which closes these uh, tag things. So then we'll go down to bikes. And we're going to open the cheetah. Now we're going to change the set ID of 69 to 105. This here is changing the grind wheel set. And by set, it's the rim and tire. So we're going to be changing that to the uh, uh, Foxbat uh, wheels. So now if we go down to sets, go to the set ID 105. Can expand this. This here is the Foxbat wheels. Now they're currently uh, locked and hidden. So if we change these tags here from one to zero and hidden from one to zero, now we should be able to view them. And before we finish, we want to change the tires on the on the on the wheels. So currently it's the Foxbat ones, which are like chunky tires, and we want the we're going to put the uh, Pit Viper tires on. So to do that, we want to change these set uh, the item IDs. So to get these item IDs, if we just look up here, uh, Cheetah Wheel 64, or you can just copy the IDs that I put in. We're going to take the ID from the front tire and rear tire. So 101 for the front tire. So we're going to change this here for the front tire is 210. So we're going to change that to 101 and the Rear tire is 112, as you see here, for the rear. So now we just want to save that. Go back to the tool. Now we're going to import the modified items.xml. So we're going to go to the location of the tool. For me, it's here. And now if we go into the exports folder, data.pack, go to the items.xml that we just modified and import that. Now that's imported. We're going to now save the data.pack. Click on that or clicking Control S. 
wait for that to load, now it says saved, now I'm going to load the game. Okay, now that the game's loaded, we're going to go into the bike customization. Go over to the Pit Viper, wheels, and here they are. So, they originally white, I've already changed the, I had changed the color value of the grind wheels. Uh, but yeah, so you can, you can change the color of these wheels, whatever you want. Uh, they look pretty cool. And that's it, it's pretty simple, quick and easy with the tool. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you would like to see anything else, um, any other tutorials or any ideas you have, or anything you want to see changed, just let me know. And I'll probably make a tutorial for you. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.